Hi guys, so uh, in the last video we reached this stage where we have this uh, dictionary. Uh, we've constructed this dictionary with the conversion types and the factors and we used both uh, to print out each conversion type and uh, the conversion itself of the kilometers we input. Uh, now in this video what I'm going to tackle is this here because this is there's a far better way of doing this or, or creating uh, strings and uh, The best way is for us to just remove all that and let's get started with a very uh, simple string which is basically something like this and Let's print that out Oops. A, B, C. Right. And save it. And F5. And we have our string. Right. Now, uh, let's say that is a simple string. That's no big deal. Uh, now, let's say if I have those variables. And I wish to integrate the values of those values in the string. So what we used to do until now is basically something like this, ABC, and then equal, and then we had the hello. And then that, and then we said string, and then your name. And then plus and then comes the rest the remain the other text which is basically this bit here and then that and then comes string and then car, uh, car price car price and then plus and then this Plus string uh, car kilometers and then plus and then on it. Uh, yeah. Great. Okay. So and if I just comment this thing out. Okay. Save it and print. So we would have basically the same thing as before albeit now variables replaced right now there's a better way of doing that and the better way of doing that is like this abc let's copy the old text right and then what we do in, in those places where we know they're going to be replaced by a variable just put in curly braces Okay, one, uh, then here, and oops, and then here. Great, and now there's a there's a a, a function called format. This function is a function used on strings, which is here in our case, format. And now you can put in, we have three placeholders, and now we can put in the values of these three placeholders. I can obviously write John, and then uh, 15239.45 and 55K. Yeah, let's comment this guy out as well. Save that, and if I print, if I uh, run that, I, I get the same thing. So you see, each one of these has, um, uh, uh, each placeholder takes then the value in that order. So first placeholder takes this, second placeholder takes this, third placeholder takes this. Uh, you see here, one big advantage of this method is it's, uh, it's way more compact and I don't have to convert to strings 
format does that for me. I just type in the numbers here and then. Now, a better way of doing it, obviously, is not having these literals here or constants, but basically use the variables. So here you would have your name. Here we have core price. And here we have core kilometers. Save. And then if you run that, you'd have here the same thing again. Great. Uh, and of course, you must have as many placeholders as you have here um, uh, parameters. Because if I, let's say, have, let's say, uh, I don't know, let's put one more. Save that and I would get an error. You see, because this fourth one does not have a value here, okay? So, however, if I have a fourth value, let's just put any number in, save that, and run it, then it will go again, okay? So, that's one way of doing things. Uh, another thing is, if you, if, you, if you have your items here, but the ordering here is different, you can use numbers, positional numbers. We, we already know from lists, that lists are sequences which start from zero and go zero, one, two, three. We can do the same thing here. For instance, uh, here comes element zero. Here, I would have element one. And here, I would have element two. Okay, now let's see what happens. It doesn't make much sense, the text, but what I'm trying to show here, look at this. This is element, this is element zero. This is element one. This is element two. Okay, so. And let me remove that. We don't need it. Oh, yeah. By the way, you can see here, I have, I can have more values than placeholders. That doesn't matter. But you cannot have more placeholders than values. Right. Now, what you see here is element two. Which is element two? Zero, one, two. The car kilometers that came here. Your car costs element one, which is basically car price, and has zero. What is element zero? It is your name. So you can basically make it like that right and let me just uh, modify that to some numbers that we are familiar with and if you run that you can see it becomes really bad the way you can handle those decimal places is you can say here for instance your car costs and that's element one you can say you put in a colon and then how many decimal places do you want for instance, two dot two F is for float. Okay, that means float. That means uh, you're uh, um, setting the the price to two decimal places. And if we save that and run it, you'd see now it is like instead of this, it's down to this. Okay. Um. Right. So. One way of, of ordering those items would be through, through numbers. Another way of ordering things would be through names. For instance, you say here, uh, name. You say here, price. And here, kilometers. And then, here, you have, oops, name equal your name price equal car price and kilometers equal let me remove that don't need it right so now what i've done here is um this functions similarly to a dictionary so um here i have a keyword called name and that name is points to the variable your name I have a keyword called price that points to car price and I have a keyword called kilometers that points to car kilometers. And that is another way of, um, and you see it runs perfectly, is another way of uh, putting those variables. So let me just copy that so you can see both uh, ways of doing it. And let's call that uh, GHI. So one way of doing it, as I said, is just have empty um, curly braces and then you just have 
this. Okay, and here, like I said, it follows this order. These follow this order here. Another way of doing it is to have, let's call this PHI. And another way of doing it is use position with numbers, 0, 1, and 2. And that would be 0, 1, 2. Obviously, you can change the order the way you want it. And JKL is basically where you use keywords to, uh, you know, uh, fix what comes in here. Uh, me personally, I prefer keywords because it makes the, this template, this green string, makes the template easier to read because you know, oh, okay, here comes the name. Here comes the price and that is fixed to two decimal places. Here come the kilometers and those are fixed to uh, to nothing, you know, like they're just basically there. And then you can uh, basically have then the, 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 the keyword the value combinations in here. So that makes it far easier to read than this one because here you always have to see, okay, what's first element, what's second, what's so on. And if you've got many elements, it makes it more difficult to read. Right, and let's let's try those guys out. Uh, GHI and JKL. Oops. GHI and JKL. And let me put some uh, empty print statements here to get the line break. And here as well. Right. Now let's run the code. And you see we have the same thing all over again so it doesn't matter which way you do it um, it runs and the nice thing about it now all your um, all your all your uh, decimal numbers are fixed to two decimal places format has many more ways of going of, of you know you can do a lot more with with the format method um, there's a lot of options in there but I'm just showing you the main thing, and I'm just showing you how to how 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 to use format to rectify our position, uh, our our code. So if I go back and get my old code, and that's our old code, uh, code save it, and if I run that, uh, let's put in 15 kilometers. Uh, hold on a second, something went wrong here. Let's run that again. 15. So we have here our numbers, and you see here what bugged me previously was like here, we've got two decimal places, here just one. I would like to have everything in, in two decimal places. So here, this print string can now be changed to print. Then you can say curly braces, conversion factor, conversion type or conf type okay close curly braces and then uh, colon empty and then open curly braces conversion value okay uh, value close curly braces and, and that conversion value should be set to uh, colon uh, dot to f. Okay, so that's that's the that's the string, and then dot format, and I should uh, put the string here, right? And then format. So conversion type con type. That's the first key in the in the in the that's the first placeholder is equal to my key and conv value is is equal is equal to uh, this one. I don't need I don't need any rounding and all that stuff. I don't need I just need this. Okay. 
and that's it. Close param and close param. So you see the difference now. Let me just have a. So you see here, I have the key. That's that's the first. That's the first key of the first placeholder, and that is kilometer. Uh, that is the uh, is my key, right? And the second. And the second, uh, the second key in the string is the conversion value, and that is that calculation. I don't need any rounding anymore because that 2f rounds up to two um, uh, decimal uh, places, and I don't need to convert everything to a string. So it makes it far easier. And here the template is far easier to read because now you can see, okay, we're having conversion type, then a colon, then conversion value. And that's set to two decimal places. So let me comment this thing out. Save that and let's run it. And let's see, 50 and voila. And you see now everything is set to two decimal places. And if I change that to three, run that and again 15 and you see now everything is two. Uh, three. Here we haven't got, well, if I make that bit wider you can see everything is now set to three decimal places so you see using the format method you're way more flexible uh, to format your strings and you and, and makes your strings or basically that template much easier to read and that's a far better way than creating strings the way we did until now